Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com. Let's get into today's topic. Let's talk about rejection. How do you handle rejection? I think most people don't handle it very well. <laughs> A lot of people don't, at least. I've had troubles with this in my life. Rejection's hard. It's hard if you're weak to begin with, if you're fragile to begin with, if you have a weak mindset, if you're not very confident in yourself, or if there's areas that you lack confidence in. Those, can, those areas can be exposed. Those band-aids get ripped off and it hurts. Strong people that are normally strong in many areas may not be able to take rejection because of a particular pain that they're feeling from their past, maybe a particular experience or a set of experiences, a time in their life. And I've seen strong people drop to their knees, strong people slip into depressions. Rejection is brutal. It's brutal for the person who's rejected. It's an interesting experience to reject others because it gives you an idea of what happens when you get rejected. In order to understand rejection, I've had to understand what it is to reject others. Many times when I reject someone, and I've rejected people, I've broken a lot of hearts. I do it for very, what I think are very good reasons. Very, maybe selfish reasons, you know what I mean? But I defend myself with each time that I've rejected somebody. Maybe, I, I don't know, I'd have to go back and think if I regret it. But for the most part, I don't. Because in the moment, I was acting rightly. It, not just for my own preservation, you know, survival, but for my own happiness. And my happiness matters. We're allowed to have ba boundaries. We're allowed to have standards. We're allowed to have stuff that we like. If I don't like that, then I'm rejecting it. It's just hard to be rejected. It hurts because we want to be loved. We want to be liked. We want to be accepted. We want to be validated. Rejection comes in many forms. What I've had to learn as I analyze what it's like to reject others and what it's like to be rejected and kind of see the difference is that I can't attach my self-worth to the opinion of others, nor to the outcomes of experience. So, the first part's kind of obvious, and you've heard that before. I don't attach your self-worth to the opinions of others. The opinions of others shouldn't matter. It's just their opinion. Everybody's allowed to have their opinion. They, they think that your work sucks. So what? There's lots of people out there, say for example, content creators. There's lots of YouTube channels that I hate. I hate that shit. And I can't listen to a single fucking word of it. I can't stand it. I can't stand that motherfucker talking. I hate everything out of his fucking mouth. And this guy will have 30 million followers. <laughs> and each video has 100 million likes, you know. So, my opinion doesn't matter. If we attached our self-worth to the opinion of each person, you would be on a roller coaster ride all day long. Your self-worth comes from you. That's why it's self-worth and not what would be the opposite of self-worth. Others' worth, so your worth comes from others, your worth comes from yourself. You can walk away from me and say I'm a, a, a dickless loser and I can still walk away happy and be just like, whatever, bitch. <laughs> I know I'm cool. Same with friends. I've had friends walk away from me. It hurt my self-worth. I had to realize that they weren't really my friends to begin with. Because your real friends don't just walk away from you over bullshit, over anything really. Real friends are with you till the end. You can't fuck up. Nonetheless, we still attach our self-worth very often to the opinion of others. Every time that you 
are attracted to a woman and she rejects your advances, she's not interested, you might walk away devastated. That used to happen to me. And it would really hurt. And I would put so much weight into, I really want a girlfriend, I want to be in a relationship. And I would go down that road and with fantasy, thinking that I, I, it's, it's something that I really want, like chasing this brass ring, but also something that I deserve. When you feel like you deserve something and then you don't get it. You've been a good boy, you deserve a treat, but then you don't get one. You don't get the pat on the head that you wanted, the validation that you wanted, the acknowledgement. Oh, that stings to somebody who is weak. And I know what it, feel, what it, what it feels like to have that sting when you don't get the validation, you don't get the I love you back when you said it. I used to say I love you to my fiance, just I mean, looking back on it now, I didn't do this conscious as a manipulation, but looking back on it, I realized that I used to say it just for validation, not to express that I loved her, but so that I could hear it back so that I could feel loved. And then when you don't hear it back in the right way or quick enough or at all, Oh, your whole world, that whole little house of cards just starts falling down. Maybe she doesn't love me. Maybe I'm not lovable. You go down this whole path of misery. Self-worth comes from within. That's why I'm preaching on every one of these videos, mind, body, and soul, because it builds who we are from the inside. Others aren't building you. You don't have a team of people building you. You're building yourself be like a building that you're just w driving along and a building is building itself it's it's these beams are going into place by itself there's no workers it's not being done by other people the building is doing itself this is how you do it you build yourself and then when some somebody's opinion it's just your opinion you may think I'm a loser but you don't know me Fuck you, fuck off. I'm deeper than what you see on the surface. And you, you, you become very solid in who you are. You, you, you stop feeling lost because you know who you are. You're found. Self-worth, building your self-worth is how you find yourself. Now, we also attach our self-worth to outcomes. The outcome may be a particular interaction with a person. The outcome may be you making money this year. Maybe you really wanted to kill it this year and then you didn't. So then by the end of the year, it turns out you start feeling like a loser and you go through this whole fucking, I'll never be able to be successful. I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. This whole self-worth issue comes up. You feel like a loser. I can never seem to make it come up. I'm always going to be poor. I'm never going to be able to have the stuff I want. Everybody else's life is easier. And I, you know, you go down this whole thing. All over an outcome. The trick with all of this, because I think that you get how you get into that problem, the trick with it, with getting over rejection, with dealing with these self-worth issues, the trick with not getting your way in life, it really is twofold. One, it's to release yourself to the universe in the way that well let me put it another way it, it's just go with the flow let's just keep this simple I don't want to get too compl complicated towards the end of the video go with the flow it's it's a phrase that's been going around Taoism is a great philosophy go with the flow doesn't mean being passive it doesn't mean that you are somehow passively moving it through life, letting life bounce you around like a pinball in a pinball machine. You're going with the flow like water goes with the flow. You're not a, a, a leaf on the water going with the flow, like a leaf floating down a stream. You're not the leaf. When you go with the flow, you're the water. The water is unstoppable, man. It doesn't matter how the, the bank juts out. It doesn't matter if a log falls across. The water just keeps going. The water flows. 
around all obstacles, effort, effortlessly. The water doesn't struggle to get around rocks in its way, it just goes around them. And the other way that we deal with rejection, that we deal with this self-worth issue, and I already mentioned it, and I'll end the video here because it's a good point, is through constantly building yourself. When you become so strong from within, because you build yourself every single day, it's impossible for the opinions of others to knock you down. Thousands, millions of people could be against you. But it doesn't matter. Because you're confident in who you are and what you know and what you're capable of and you're honest and true and loyal. And even if it's 10 million people, it doesn't matter. You can be that one guy on, the path, on his own path and everybody else is on a different path. It doesn't matter. You don't need their opinions, their validation. You build yourself strong enough to where outcomes don't matter because there's a, where there's a will, there's a way. That's my motto, where there's a will, there's a way. I have it on my business cards. I believe that in life. Just like the water that flows down the stream, there's always a way. Nothing's gonna stop the water, and if you try to stop the water, it'll create a new path. You ever seen a, a stream overflow and break off and create a new path? Where there's a will, there's a way, you can't be stopped. It's all food for thought. Thanks for watching.